and thank you for coming out to today's press conference with the uh, Edward Waters College men and women's track and field. At this time, we will start the press conference with an opening overview from Coach Gallon. Good afternoon, and thanks for inviting us out. Uh, I'm here on behalf of our men and women track and field team, 2017. This is our first trip with this group. Um, the majority of my freshmen, we had a great season this year, and uh, by the women win, uh, were running up in our conference, and the guys winning our conference overwhelmingly. Uh, we're going in the events of the four by one relay men and women, a young lady high jumper, three triple jumpers, one young man high jumper, uh, young man in the 200, a young man in the 100 meter dash. And uh, we're wishing and hoping for the best. Thank you. We'll now open the floor for uh, Q and A's uh, for Coach Gallon. April 27th at our conference championship. Some outstanding performances. You know, we don't have the top, the elite kid, but we have kids that get out and work. And the work they were doing prior to this, because we got a lot of beatings on the way here. But within our division, we were doing very well. So would you feel like they learned from those kind of early seasons? Oh, yeah, that? most definitely. they kind of learned from, from that experience? Yeah, most definitely. Uh, it prepared them for what they had to do up to this point. Now we're going what we would call our equal. Uh, we have uh, two young men, one rated the number two hurdle in the country in the NAIA. One young man is number five in the country. The four by one the young men are number 10 in the country and the young ladies are 12th in the country. So uh, that's out of 27 people who they carry to those events, we're up in top half right now. So we have some great chances to do well. for this young group uh, because of the fact that they haven't really been there before. So would you kind of tell them to kind of prepare them for, uh, for this moment? Well, it's kind of hard to get prepared. We just ask them to go and do the best. Do whatever they can do and uh, learn from whatever. We're up front. We learned a lot. We're in the middle. We're doing well. We're at the end. we got a lot of work to do. And you reached a personal uh, milestone yourself. You had a all-time leading coach of the year in the conference. What does that kind of honor mean to you personally? It's nice to achieve, but uh, I'm not about awards for coach anymore. <clears throat> Got more than I have a wall to put them on. Really like to see the kids succeed. It's more about the kids than it is about coach. So I'm glad that they did do that part, but I'm more so wishing it for the kids. Introduced. Yeah. Okay. Which, which All right. Four by one on the young lady. She's part of the four by one team. Okay. Next young lady is the high jumper. Okay. Five eight. The young man is the number two hurdle in the country right now. Another young man is the, the two hundred and the four by one. He's the only senior. Okay. First of all, who wants to talk? <laughs> Come on, hey, 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 hey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, let, we, let our, we let our captain talk to you. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, can you tell me your name, uh, your name and spell for me, your year in school, and uh, what is that uh, Hayden Cummings, H-I-E-D-E-N-C-U-M-M-I-N-G-S. Uh, I graduated senior this year. This year. And uh, what is it? Are you uh, going in there? The 200 meters and the 4x1. So at what point did you kind of realize that you guys, 4x1, uh, made a really team was special and had a chance to make it this far? Uh, the first meet when we ran like a 42-something. Uh, yeah. 
now being one of the most seniors on the team, what do you kind of tell some of the younger guys? Like, you know, have you kind of taken on that leadership role? Of course. Uh, I try my best as I can because I can earn each and every leg if I wanted to. So I give them what I know about it, as well as whatever Coach Gallon says. And Coach Gallon is obviously you know, very decorated in the past. So what did you kind of learn from him personally, you know, both on the track and off the track? He taught me how to become a better man. Uh, I know a lot more about life, what I'm going to do with my life, how to be respectful. Uh, I got a little bit faster with him. Mm -hmm. What do you feel like you guys need to do in order to come back and place uh, in national? Uh, run fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just need one of you. Just one lady. One lady. Come on, Just one. It'll be simple. See, see, see my freshman. Air for it at the camp. Coach, I can talk. How about getting our number one hurt a little bit? You have to talk. Hello, how you guys doing? <laughs> My name is Carl Elliott, C A R L E L L I O T T. And my event is Hurdles, Montana Hurdles. And uh, you're here in school? I'm a freshman. So, gonna ask you kind of sort of the same question. So, at what point did you realize? I mean, not only are you, you know, good in conference, I mean, you're second in the entire nation. So at what point did you realize that you had a gift? Um. I always knew I was special, but uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> around, a, a, a. Um, around our first meet, actually, I was pretty surprised with myself because I came a long way from like high school, and then when I got to college, I didn't know how I was going to do or how I was going to transition. But um, around our first meet, I did pretty well. I placed, and I believe I got first at that meet. So when I did that, I just I knew that I could do whatever I thought I could do. Now coming in as a freshman, there's obviously like kind of a learning curve to competing at the college level. Yeah. Did it surprise you? I mean, how much early success you've had? It it actually did. Um, I knew it was coming because I'm pretty humble, but um, it did surprise me because you just don't know if you're going like you could do good in high school, but you never know how that's going to transition in college. And then with hurdles, it changed. How do you kind of prevent you know, all of this early success from going to your head? Like, what, what keeps you home? Is it your coach? Yeah, because we're not that good. <laughs> so, yeah, he does. He, um, he humbles us as much as possible. So, I just, I know that there's always somebody who's going to be better than you. So, you can't let one success take you, like, just let that build, uh, be yourself. You can't let that carry you through your whole life. So. Right. <laughs> he won't come through this. <laughs> He's put the camera on and said he would not come. Right. <laughs> Good job. Still going to be on camera. <laughs> well, at this time, we'll go ahead and um, conclude this and go to our sidebar with, uh, with uh, Coach Gallon, and uh, we can. Uh, uh, indulge in the refreshments that we have. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, man. Bye. Oh, you make it. Can you do that. Uh, like stand together so I can reach you today. Sit in front in front of the. Uh,